Hello everyone, I'm Rugby 5 And I am Sandman99. And welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with Joe Smurd. Yes. And in the last episode, we uh, did quite a lot of stuff. We ran around and did a bunch of errands for the uh, McGarrett's at the top Atomic Wrangler, and uh, we did a few errands for the Crimson Caravan Company. And we, uh, while we were running one of those, we came across and got another job from the uh, guy who's sort of the, the big wig in the local science department there. But since we're coming out the door right near uh, the Crimson Caravan compound, we've got one more little thing there. We managed to convince um, a guy who is a bit of a, a uh, deadbeat to resign. Yep. And so we might as well go back and get paid for that job since we're right here. Anyway. However, Although it is the middle of the night. Yes, we will have to probably wait until uh, the boss decides to come back to work again, since this isn't a 24-hour operation. Yep. But that's okay. We can do that. Whoops, wrong one. We'll wait. What time is it anyway? It's 11 p.m. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll wait about 10 hours. And then we're probably going to have to have some breakfast because we're probably going to be hungry after that. Yep. You're getting to be. Mmm, leftover people. Yeah. There. Couple of blood packs will put us back to zero again. Okay. Welcome back. Okay, the Crimson Caravan no longer has to be worried about Henry Jameson. Yes, I understand that he's decided to quit outright and not even ask for compensation. <laughs> I'm a bit curious what exactly uh. you said to him. Then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. Okay. Wow, that paid pretty well. It's been a pleasure. And it gained us some NCR fame, too. Yep. Civilizing Prim will show what we can do for everyone else in these territories. Okay, well. Well, now we can make a quick stop and talk to Blake here, too, and see if Blake has anything interesting to to uh, buy or sell here. Well, again, he's got that raider armor if you need to repair your current stuff, but uh, other than that, by the looks of it. Although he has some whiskey if you want to pick up some of those. Yeah, I think I have enough of, of uh, intoxicants for now. After that experience last episode with the absinthe, <laughs> I think I'm good for a while. I'm sure the whiskey is <laughs> more tame. Yeah. Oh, look. Well, I can sell this plasma rifle to him. He's got a lot of money, too, that guy. Wow, look at that, eh? Well, I've got, uh... Well, maybe I'll sell a bunch of these, too, since is how uh, I don't really need them. Yeah, they don't really do much for you, do they? No, they don't really do too much for me, I don't think, but, uh... You had some pre-war money there you could sell them. Did I? Where? Miscellaneous. Uh... Oh, yeah, I got a little bit of pre war money. And I guess that's probably about it. So, there we go. See ya. Now, the next job that we got 
one that we got from that guy at Camp M McCarran. Or McLaren? Is, or Ma no, not McLaren. McCarran. McCarran. McLaren is a sports car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there stands the grass. They okay. wish they wish they were Camp McLaren. <laughs> so I guess we'll uh, we'll head on over to uh, the mysterious vault where uh, things grow unexplainably. Eh? Yep. Oops. Where is that place? Oops. Dead West. Wow, it's a long ways away, too. It's on the other side of New Vegas. So we're going to have to probably take a like a ring road around to the other side here. Well, unless you can uh, turn around 180 degrees and there's nothing in your way. Yeah, well, I think New Vegas is actually in the way. <laughs> Well, at least a set of train tracks, maybe. You can follow them for a little while. Well, till about here, anyway. Oh. Then they have this great big massive wall here, right? Yeah, then they have this great big massive New Vegas in the way. How inconsiderate. Okay, let's have a look at the map here. Okay. Looks like I can probably follow this road for a ways. Right till about there. Oh, I just discovered North Vegas Square, whatever that is. Oh, okay. That's the entrance to North Vegas Square. Huh. Okay, well, it looks like this is going in the right general direction, and I don't see anything in a ahead of me in the way. many people around here either, is there? Nope. I guess we gotta sort of veer this way a little bit now. doing is I'm just more or less keeping the uh, quest marker in the middle of my compass there, right? It's probably a good plan. Good way to find what you're looking for. Ooh, there's something else in the distance there. Enemy. On your radar. Yeah, I see that. It might be far enough away, though, that it isn't going to detect us, because uh, with this extended detection... Uh, distance quite often I can see things a long time before they see me right. oh that's one of those Cazador things those things are bad too best best avoided okay well it looks to me like uh, maybe my tactic of going directly at the uh, uh, quest marker might backfire here because it looks like there's a range of mountains in the way. I wouldn't be entirely sure. It looks like there's an opening up ahead. Yeah. Well, maybe there's a a valley to follow here or something. Ooh, oh. Be a couple of potential enemies up ahead of me here too. Maybe it would be a good idea to just 
Okay. Stay out. Something or other kill. Wow, there's a whole lot of uh, uh, enemies up ahead here by the looks of it. Yep. Nothing popping up in the vats thing, though, yet. Stay out, the plants kill. Hmm. The killer plants. The killer plants? Uh oh. Okay, I know. I recognize those things. I've gained the Bug Stomper perk rank 1. I guess you must have killed a lot of bugs then. I guess I must have. Okay, well, those things weren't too scary. You have discovered Vault 22. Wow, it sure does. It looks like a jungle around here. Literally. Okay, well. There, let's switch to this thing. This is probably my best weapon up close. Oh, you have to look at the door and activate it. Oh, okay. It. You have to activate it. <laughs> Alright. I thought I could just walk through. <laughs> Programmer's Digest. Okay. Let's grab that. It's always good to have more of those. Boy, do I wish I had a book like that in real life. <laughs> Yeah, that you just read the book and you're automatically smarter. Yeah, automatically <laughs> a better programmer. That would make my life so much easier. Yeah. Okay. Vault X-22 Expedition Entry 1. I've established a temporary camp inside the entrance of the vault. Power inside is minimal, but still running. I've managed to hack into one of their security terminals. The logs show that several people have entered the vault over the past few months, but none have left. It's getting late, so I'll resume expedition in the morning. Keely out. Okay, so this is like a sort of like a, um, a journal entry from Keely, right? Yep. Growth in the interior matches the exterior to a T. It's a little surprising given the scarcity of sunlight in the entrance room, but even more surprising is that they seem to originate from further below. Maybe that fool Hildern was onto something after all. Since my Pip-Boy is on the fritz, I'll try to keep a running log of my discovery in whatever computers I can find and collate the data before leaving. Okay. <clears throat> well, they have pork and beans here too, hey? Yep. How uh, about that? Pork and beans is good stuff. Well, if you actually need to eat. Okay, open door. All right. Elevator. There's. The elevator does not seem to be working. You could probably pop open the nearby panel and tinker with it. Okay, let's repair the elevator. The elevator door is open. Okay, so it looks like uh, we could use the elevator to travel up and down now if we want to. Oh, look at you. You're, you're so handy you can repair an elevator. You must be like an engineer or something. 
Yeah, or maybe I just work for Schindler or something. Uh. <laughs> In another life, right? <laughs> At least that's the local elevator company that uh, I used to have to deal with occasionally because yeah. there was an elevator in the building I was responsible for maintenance in, right? Yeah. <coughs> okay, so we could go to oxygen recycling. Let's go back up and look at the list of stuff on the elevator here just to help out uh, keeping track of things a bit. Okay, so oxygen recycling is the second level, right? Okay, there's a, a lab there. And this must be the elevator that goes back up to... Uh, yeah, see? So yep. There, that's where the elevator is. Okay. So we got stairs that way, we got a lab this way. It's going to be one of those places that's got like a million doors to a million different small rooms all on the ridiculously winding and convoluted corridor system. I mean, it is a vault after all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's a terminal. Entry three. This level seems to be devoted to the study of atmospheric effects on plants with a concentration of producing plants with a high oxygen yield. Given the problems these vaults are, were known to have, it sounds like a reasonable avenue of research. Yeah, because lots of the vaults did, like, horrible experiments on people, right? Yep. <laughs> it's strange, but some sections of the machinery down here appear to have been modified for some unknown purpose. The restraints regarding oxygen content and systemic pressure have been bypassed. I've been hearing strange chittering sound for some time now and finally discovered at source there's some kind of giant mantises that have taken up residence in the vault. I almost ran smack into one the other day, but the creatures don't appear to react to my presence at all. Perhaps the others sent here ran afoul of these creatures, but I can't see how a few scattered insects could pose much of a problem for two experienced mercs. Okay. Check inventory for storage room two. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Looks like we can't go in any further there. So I guess we might as well see what's down the uh, hallway here, right? This is the room we came in, I think. Oh, I hear a voice. a working terminal. Noise complaint. Maintenance, look into the ductwork here on level 2. I know you guys took a look at this last week, but I swear the noise is back. 
and other people can hear it too, okay? Well, the noise couldn't have been giant mantises. Well, if it was in the ductwork, maybe it was. Maybe they were wandering around in the ductwork. Nah, I'm sure it was fine. Yeah. Okay, well, looks like there's nothing in here. <sighs> the biggest problem with these stupid maze-like things is keeping track of where you came from so you don't end up going in circles, right? It's very easy to get lost when all the hallways look the same. This again looks like a room that we've been in before. Just from a different side? Just from a different side, maybe, yeah. And another one of these rooms. Yep, another one of these rooms. It doesn't seem to have anything in it, really. Well, you could just cut back through this room. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll try... Uh... Okay, yeah, this will be where we came in. There's stairs that way and stairs that way. So these will probably be, uh, yeah, stairs up, and this will be stairs down. I think we've explored all of the little rooms and side passages in this area here now. So we might as well head for the stairs down. You fix the elevator and then you don't even use it. Well, I just want to be kind of methodical about it, right? Ah, uh, you think you're going to get lost easily because of the elevator? Possibly. Okay, so door to vault 22 food production. Also kind of helps me to... Okay, well, there's the elevator right there, so I guess I could have used the elevator. I could use the elevator, I suppose, but, you know. Okay, oh, so that'll be for next time. More stair... Oh! It's a plant guy. Yeah. Okay, so this place is not completely and totally uninhabited. That was definitely a very plant-like looking uh, critter, right? Uh, oh, here's an entry six. I finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that lived here. They appeared to be overgrown with some form of lichen. They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked right by several without even noticing them. I've taken the proper precautions, but the lichen doesn't seem to be contagious, at least to ghouls. This level appears to be where they perform most of the research NCR is interested in. I've been able to collect a little... The vast majority of the data from the research done here is inaccessible. I'll have to find the main backup and download from there. Okay. So I guess I'm guessing then from that entry that this thing used to be a person. Yep. Wow. Okay. And now they're a plant thing. So look at that, there's uh, enemies appearing on the radar now. Let's 
status report. Yields continue to improve splicing together a cultivator CN188 with the existing corn samples produced a hybrid that it responds better to artificial light. Uh, Dr. Peters missed his third straight day due to illness. His work ethic hasn't exactly been stellar to this point. I'm requesting confirmation from the clinic that he is in fact sick. On a lark, the guys down in pest control sent up a sample of a substance one of their specimens secretes to attract insects. Tests show that the substance has a mood-altering effect on smaller mammals. If anyone volunteers, we can begin human testing soon. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a number of the staff have been able to show, have been, been begun to show symptoms of some sort of viral infection. I'm beginning to, I've begun to order them to stay in bed and recover, but at this rate, there won't be anyone left to do research. Hmm. Not much to report today. The mood is unusually somber in the wake of Dr. Peter's passing, so I guess he wasn't faking it after all, eh? Yep. <laughs> There's a strange rumor going around that the commotion downstairs was caused by all things Dr. Peter's corpse suddenly animating and attacking people. I don't know who would start such a vicious rumor, but it is an exceptionally bad taste. Uh, you know what I think happened? I think that Dr. Peter's corpse animated and started attacking people. And turned into a plant thing? And turned into one of those plant things. Oh, like that. Right? Seemingly so. Good reaction, by the way. Okay, well, uh-huh, hmm. Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh! Nothing your shotgun won't fix. See, that thing hits pretty hard now that you've got both shotgun, surgeon, and cowboy. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's my best close-up weapon, right? <clears throat> Well, it appears that I can't go any further this way. Probably die of natural causes eventually anyway. What? Who said that? Is <laughs> that you? Yeah, that was her, I think. You know? I've been thinking. The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. Our training is top-notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. We always make enemies, never allies. We refuse to recruit outsiders or see the value in their simpler technologies. Uh, okay. So why don't, why don't you do something about it? I don't know. I'm still thinking about what kind of role we could take on that would give us the best chance of survival. But I think things are starting to come together. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. Okay, well... See you around. I guess if that's all you had to say, then uh, we'll continue on. Yeah, I think she was just commenting on the dead guy. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because you mentioned earlier that they... Uh, Sometimes we'll comment on the environment that you're in, right? Okay, did we check everything out here? Poke our nose into every door and all that kind of stuff on this level? Have you gone left at this intersection? No, it looks like there's another door right here. We'll just make sure another one of those uh, plant guys doesn't pop out of nowhere and attack us. Well, there's terminals to read all over the place here. Security request. Assistant Mathers went into the caves at 1846 today and still haven't returned. Requesting security escort for science personnel to conduct a search. We need a medical team up here now. Dr. Peters just returned with one of the security escorts who was horribly wounded. When I asked them where the other security officer was he just paled and shook his head 
In the meantime, Dr. Bailey has ordered that the door to the caves be sealed until a further investigation can take place. Help. Is there anyone down there? Security is trying to hold off. Well, I don't know what they're trying to hold off. Please send security up at once. With Dr. Bailey watching over his sick wife and daughter in their quarters down in the common area, I'm officially in charge of the level. I'm requesting security at once. Okay. Yep. It sounds like uh, bad things were going on. Cave door access terminal. So this must be the cave door, right? Seemingly so. Okay. Okay. Door to the caves is sealed, but by the, you know, but okay, well, let's see here. Access denied. Okay, so we have to probably go and get security to open, or clearance to open this door from somewhere else. Probably. Okay, it looks like we've been in this room already, I think. Okay. So I guess now now we've covered all the areas except for that one mysterious door that we can't open, right? Uh, hello? Hi, are you there? Oh, right. You can't respond. Listen, I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. I've picked up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. Okay. Yep. Eddie appears to have some Enclave data. Find the patrol Knight Lorenzo. Okay. Well, we'll get to that in a bit. We're kind of busy right now. Yeah, underground in a vault. <laughs> okay. I think I've covered all of this this level, so we might as well head back to the stairs now. Or the elevator. Yeah, or the elevator. Actually, you're just... Well, whatever. Stairs, elevator, dead guy. Yeah, see, I wouldn't have got to shoot that thing if I hadn't, uh, you know, if I'd have taken the elevator, right? Yeah, well, there you go. I guess you can look at it that way, right? The, the less you take the elevator, the more you get to shoot shit. Common areas. Okay. So I guess we need to go back up to level two. That's where the uh, mystery locked door is, right? Yep. But you can always take the elevator to get up there. Yeah. Somebody is shooting at something. I can hear shooting. Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Sounds like the shooting is closer. Oh, look at that. is still projecting overseer's office <clears throat> hmm. lower level okay <clears throat> A 
fresh apple. How fresh could that apple be? Completely and totally it's fresh. A fresh carrot. Another fresh apple. Yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll save that for later, though, okay? <laughs> I can hear a voice again. Uh, pool tables. Oh, entry eight. Okay. I guess no one will miss this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. It looks like this is the most where most of the people met or were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of them succumbed to some kind of airborne infection. I'm going to see if I can convert some of the grow lamps into into UV spectrometers to test the air for contaminants. After numerous attempts, I found a range that highlights the particles in the air that I believe killed everyone in this vault. Preliminary tests show them to be spores of some kind. I've set up spectrometers on several of the levels, and now and then, the concentration appears to increase in the lower levels. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may constitute a danger to the people of the NCR. Huh. Yeah, well, obviously, if they killed everybody in the vault... Well, looks like the mass starvation is on the horizon, then. Yeah. <laughs> well, or they're going to just have to uh, come up with some other way because uh, mass death from airborne spores is probably worse, right? What do we got here? Oh, scotch. We haven't tried scotch yet. Whiskey. Yes. Wine, vodka, All the liquor, <laughs> beer, 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 cigarettes, beer. Are any of those uh, bottles on the floor full, or are they just empty bottles? No, they look like empties. Okay, well. Uh, maybe we should uh, go and check out the overseer's office first, right? After we grab those smokes out of that uh, locker. Unlock crew quarters. Okay. That sounds like a good idea. Unlock data backup. Unlock cavern access. Oh, there. Error. Override engaged at door site. I'll bet you we could go back to that door now and open it, though. Possibly, yep. Yeah. So maybe what we'll do, though, is we'll finish exploring this general area first. Because I think there's like a lower level to this area here. Through that other door over there. Well, that one was a little tougher than normal. Yeah, I had to shoot him twice.
Oop. Look at that, she just zapped them. Although nice. there's different kinds, right? Like that one there is a spore carrier brute. Yep. So that's why maybe it takes a little more to kill one of them, right? Oop. Where'd that one? Is that what I was hearing? It looks like it. it sounded like, uh, like maybe laser fire or something, but... Okay, looks like I've gone kind of around in a circle in this big room here. There's something you haven't been to. Yeah, we'll go and check out this doorway. Okay, this looks like a residential area, kind of. Wow, that one's tough. Wow, place is completely overgrown. Uh oh, where'd that come from? Oh, oh there, there was another one. There was another one in there. Okay, that one was a weak one though, by the looks of it. Okay. just happened here. Are you over encumbered? Well, I wasn't. Well, I guess I must be hungry, maybe that's why. Well, uh... Nope. Why did I suddenly become over encumbered when I wasn't before? No, I'm not over encumbered. Okay, there. What? Another one just popped out here somewhere? Eddie is shooting. Oh, it was just like, whoa, look at that. Like a mutated plant or something. Or some such. Little shop of horrors in here. Which is something you might not have seen, but uh, in that I don't even remember all the details. But this person started growing this mutated weird plant. And it turned out that it could talk. And it was named Seymour, and uh, it used to like to eat people. <laughs> well, apparently, uh... A spore carrier brute is nothing a thermic lance can't take care of. Yeah, that thermic lance is a really scary weapon. I hope nobody ever hits me with one of those. Hmm. I think we've almost reached the limit of our exploration in this direction. So I guess we'll head back down here. looks like it's probably the uh, clinic or something or some such
Well, it's good to see you, even in the clinic, they know what's healthy for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, this looks like, uh... Patient Case Database 162. Dr. Peters is suffering from a severe case of pneumonia, the result of the spread of some sort of microorganism in his lungs. I've applied the usual treatment and requested he refrain from working and stop by twice a day for observation. A group of uh, five or six people. This entire group showed up throughout the course of the day displaying the same symptoms. They're remarkably similar to Dr. Peter's condition when he first came in a week ago. I hope we don't have a contagion on our hands. 162 update. Not responding to treatment, or more accurately, his body is actively rejecting the treatment. His condition has worsened, and I'm on the cusp of ordering exploratory surgery. 173, a group. Another whole bunch of people. Wow, a big group of them. Group with chills, a fever, a terrible racking cough. I'm recommending they be separated from the general populace. 162, update. Dr. Peters is dead. His, flat, his vitals flatlined 10 minutes before he entered surgery. I decided to perform an autopsy immediately and discovered his lungs were filled with some sort of fungal infection. Strangely, the fungus still shows ex evidence of growth despite the death of its host. I'll consult with one of the my, my, mycologists. Yeah, I think those guys are guys that study funguses. Right? Yeah, they're like, they're like fungus people. <laughs> they're yeah. fung guys. Yeah, oh, okay, ha ha. <laughs> anyway, uh, 162 update. I don't really know how to describe what happened. One minute I was closing up for the day, and the next Dr. Peters' corpse sat up and attacked me. I was unable to flee the office and seal him inside. Well, I was able to flee the office and seal him inside until security arrived, but what the hell's going on? If all the recent illnesses are the same thing... Mm, uh did they have a uh, zombie miniature zombie apocalypse in here? Or? Seems like. Yeah. Okay, well, I think I've exhausted all the possibilities for this area, so maybe we should go back up to level two and see if we can go through that sealed door, eh? Hey? Oh, wow, look at that. Flamer fuel. All okay. the flamer fuel. All the flamer fuel. All we need now is a flamer. Oh, it looks like this terminal works, too. Ticket one, strange noises. This is the maintenance area. That's what this was. Noises in vents sent a team to inspect. Source of problem not detected. Gas leak. Reports of a possible gas leak. Several people have complained of coughing fits and other respiratory symptoms. Complete diagnostic of air circulation system. Discovered minor discrepancies in the mass of the air being pumped through the vault, but no harmful gases were detected. Also, a strange residue was detected on the air filters, which has been forwarded for identification. Swapped out the filters just in case. Hmm. Well, that would be the spores. Yeah, okay. And this was all the uh, noises that I was hearing that sounded like at, at a bit of a distance, it sounded like gunfire, right? Yep. There's a sunset sarsaparilla. Flamer. Okay. Well, flamer fuel, flamer fuel. Flamer fuel. Yeah, you never know. That might come in handy later. Mm, microfusion cells. You know you want that laser pistol. No, nah, by the looks of it, it's pretty rough shape that thing. I've got lots of weapons and, and lots of ammunition anyways, so... Yeah, you could always <coughs> sell it. Okay, I guess we'll head back up to the upper level again here. And 
then we'll uh, maybe head on up to uh, whoops went the wrong way okay elevator second level Somewhere in all this mess is a uh, sealed door. If I can just find my way back. Oh, look. Well, nothing too exciting in here. I think it was on the other side. It was on the other you gotta side? You like, left? Or I can't remember exactly how to get there. Maybe in this direction. No, not no, quite. Not quite. Okay, that kind of looks like where we came from. It's in here somewhere. Is it here? Uh, cause I know, I know it's in here somewhere because we, uh, you know, like walked right up to it and tried the terminal. Just have to remember where it is now. What happens if we look at this map? Is it going to be, uh, an unrewarding, uh, experience or... Food production? Is that where it's going oh, to be? Oh, maybe here? it was in food production. Okay, so it looks like I need to kind of somehow find my way over this way. Yeah, maybe we're on the wrong floor. I don't think so, because it was on level two, was it not? Maybe not. Or was it level three? It might have been on level three. Okay, maybe we'll try uh, level three then, because I don't seem to be able to find it on level two. I thought it was level two for some reason, but okay. This yep. way. So you go, I think you gotta go uh, left here and yep. then through here. Yeah, there it is, right there. Okay. Ah, really? Yeah. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I did what I needed to do in the. Uh, Maybe you need some kind office. of uh, yeah, other I guess, thing. I guess you need some kind of other thing. All right. So, uh, we'll go back to, uh, see, we were in the common areas, right? And we pretty much explored that, so maybe we'll go to pest control. It's the only level that we haven't actually... Where are you? What are you chasing after? Oh, okay. A savage! That one took three shots to kill. Yeah, really. And uh, my companions are off just running around everywhere. Door to Vault 22 common areas. Really? Another one of those things. I just leveled up. Nice. Ah. Okay. Well, let's see here. Um, what do we want to do? I think we want to definitely spend some more on guns. 
Well, the more you get your guns up, the more effective you'll eventually be with that uh, anti-material rifle. Yep. And, uh... <coughs> well, you know what? I like speech. Speech seems to be a thing, so... We'll spend some on speech. And then maybe, uh... Maybe what we should do, too, is... Uh, perhaps spend a little bit on, uh, what do you think, science? Sure. Because we seem to have neglected that area a little bit. One more level to go to light step. <laughs> You're really looking forward to that, oh, ain't you? Oh, I really want that, because I hate mines. Oh, okay, this looks like that blocked off area. AER-14 prototype. Okay, that sounds interesting. Oh, is that ammunition for it? Energy cells. Let's have a look at this thing. Okay. Not really sure what it does, but it looks like it takes MF cells, whatever an MF cell is. Okay, so it does 72 DPS, but it looks like it's some kind of rapid fire weapon, maybe? Energy weapon, maybe? Yeah, but see, the damage is fairly low, but the DPS is high, right? Okay, yeah, it looks like it's some kind of laser weapon, right? can't remember, I think energy weapons is a separate category of skill from guns, isn't it? Yes, it is. And, uh, I am not as good with, uh, let's see if we go here, yeah, energy weapons. You're not only not as good, you're actually, like, completely and totally terrible. Yeah, I'm terrible with energy weapons. I'm a lot better with guns. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll go back here. We found that was an interesting thing, but, uh... Down to pest control. Yes, down to pest control. is blocked off by cabinets but yeah. I saw a little uh, spore guy on the other side of those cabinets oh now everything in the area is alerted wow you know what those giant mantis things are uh, uh oh <laughs> they're quick they're agile right they're hard to hit yeah Wow, they take a few shots to kill, too. Well, I'd say that if this is the pest control level, I think that their mission has failed. Yep. Wow, that's a... Uh, I need a lockpick skill of 75 to open that. You're not bad at picking locks, but you're nowhere near that good. Yeah, I'm not that good, that's for sure. Okay. Too bad I didn't come across that before I did the last level up. Uh oh, what's going on now? Is this area blocked off too? Yeah, it is. Oh! Ooh. He hasn't detected you. No. Looks like there was a door on your right too. Yeah, I know I could. Oh, here, yeah. Okay. Activate terminal. 
Download research data. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess I found the place to download the research data. So now what? Well, you're still looking for, uh, uh, what's her nuts? Yeah, she hasn't turned up at all, and we've been pretty much through this whole place, just about. Except for those caves, right? I'm sure I must have missed something. Uh, cabinets. Is there another door over here? Just over here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, there's the elevator. There's the stairs. <clears throat> so I guess we want to go this way. Species 1, a distant relative of more commonly known Venus flytrap species BE908 seems to be performing well. Plants are a threat to creatures up to five times their size due to the violent nature of their closing moths. Those that aren't swallowed whole are often incapacitated by the initial bite. The plants lack the mobility, which is lack of mobility is offset by their ability to lure prey into reach by means of a nectar. They secrete from their bodies. Charming. Mantis religiosa. Of all the species we brought with us, the common mantis exceeds the rest in terms of predation. The insects are voracious, and their camouflage allows them to attack prey by surprise. Also, they complement our botana botanical specimens by hunting down those pests that avoid or escape our other measures. Lastly, the mantises will begin to cannibalize one another when the food is scarce, making their numbers self-regulating. Okay. Ovaria mordicana? An endro... An ent... Okay, I can't even say that word. Fungus. Uh, has been developed to colonize the bodies of most common pests. Once it has fully colonized a host body, the host technically dies, but the body continues to move by means of the fungal colony within it. In this manner, the fungus moves amongst more, more of its prey, occasionally spraying spores into a radius around the host body, infecting all who come near it. Its drawbacks include the time it takes to kill prey 10 to 20 days, and its limited effectiveness when dealing with unsocial pests. Okay, so it sounds like typical vault tech uh, research, right? Yeah, it sounds like uh, typical, uh, they totally fucked themselves here. Yeah. Okay, that door goes back to food production. And it looks like I can open this door. So let's do that. Oh look, we're in the caves just from a different door. Maybe we were never meant to find a way into that other door. Hey, what? Where? They're not as stealthy as you, and you're not very stealthy. No. They are less stealthy than I am. A 
I don't know, it looks to me like, uh, maybe, uh, the, uh, pest control creatures that they are developing turned into worse pests than, uh, I need to... I wonder if this is the other side of that other door I couldn't open, right? Looks like it. <laughs> yeah, the pests ended up, uh, the, pest controlling them. Yeah, the pests ended up being worse pests than the, uh, or the, yeah, the pest control things who ended up being worse pests than the pests they were trying to control. Or something like that. What do we got here? Oh, really? Okay. Okay, this is like a whole new area. Let's explore that other area before we get into here. We'll try and do this kind of methodical, like like we do in Oblivion, where we try and, uh, you know, not exit an area until we've explored all of that and identified where all the uh, exits and entrances are, right? So we got two more branches to explore here. This one and that one, right? Yep. Oh yeah, there's a whole whack of them down there now. <laughs> hey, you know what though? Your shotgun did a number. As it turns out, it's not a good idea to charge someone with a uh, shotgun. Yeah. Okay, what is this? Some kind of a dead end? Open Mantis Uthaka. Okay, so we could grab Mantis eggs if we wanted to. <clears throat> okay, well I guess our last option is... Uh, that way. This way, so we'll go this way. Then that's it. It's a dead end. Okay, so I guess we have to go that other way, after all. a little different, like it was maybe built a little more recently or something. Or some such. Separate cartridge filters? Hmm. Okay, well, let's grab them. Never know. Maybe, uh, maybe that might be one of those things that might be important later. Well, it's an oddly specific item. Yeah. Considering that it's, uh, right in here, right? So, is this that little observation room that we were in? Remember looking through the... How did he get over there? <laughs> I bet she teleported in through the wrong way. Because uh, he couldn't, you couldn't all fit through the door at once. Yeah, so that's that, probably that, what happened. That sure does look like that little observation room that we were looking through this window in this direction from, right? But it looks like I can't go any further here. Oh, there he's back now. <laughs> See, magical teleportation. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like from one way or another we found our way through that mystery mystery door that we couldn't open by uh, just finding our way in in a different direction, right? Yep, but we'll still have to fulfill our optional objective here. Yeah, well, I'm wondering if uh, if that that uh, locked door that I couldn't pick the lock on, I'm kind of wondering if something important is back there. Oh, 
Oh, did I? Yeah. Here. Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Gent Vendor. What does that do? I know in uh, Fallout 4, those are a handy thing. Oh, okay. They look like they're a. Um... Look at that. I have two of them. Well, now you know that they're uh, bartering books. Yeah, I just had my barter increased a couple of times permanently. And now we're back here again to the stairs and the elevator, and I have no idea what to do now. Have you been all around uh, everywhere else? Well, we'll try and look at this map again here. Because, um... I would say that that is probably returned to Camp McCarran. And this, however we manage to somehow get there, is probably to find the missing uh, uh, scientist, right? But how do you find the missing scientist? Uh, I know you hate mazes. Well, it's like I said before, who builds a building this way? Like, really? Uh-oh. Have you been in that uh, room with the uh, lights? Artificial lights? Where? Over here? No, uh, uh, just behind over here. Over here? Where that enemy came out of. Is that where he came from? Maybe I just didn't uh, provoke him, right? I didn't come in here far enough to... To get his attention. <sighs> mm. See this door right here, right? And we need a lock pick skill of seventy five. And boy, did I screw the pooch on my last, uh, Although it looks like maybe if we went back into the caverns, it almost looks like there's a couple of ways in and out of that area, maybe. Possibly, maybe you could get there through the caverns. Yeah. Looks like up top there. You see that, that other cavern passage that seems to go off? Yeah. Yeah, over here, right? Maybe you can get there from here. I don't know. Like I said, maybe I might have missed something. Although I don't see anything here. Right, there doesn't... There. Oh, okay. oh, there. Right behind there. All right. There's a uh, broken hole in the wall. Okay, this is one of those things. I wonder if that other passage leads down here without me having to jump off this ledge. Maybe. No, no, I guess not, because it looks like it's a dead end. You're gonna have to bite the bullet. I'm going to have to jump off the ledge. There's too many of them in here, so. I guess we explore. Uh-oh. 
No, that was one of them plant things. Yeah. They, uh, don't seem to be terribly threatening, though, I don't think. Oh, they, they spit stuff. Okay. Uh-oh. On your left. Oh, it looks like they got it handled. They got it handled already. Okay, they don't they don't really have anything in them. Okay, I don't see any more uh enemies on the display here, so I guess we just look for a way out of this place. Oh, there's another one of those things right there. Right. Looks like quite a few of them. Yeah. Oh, you had your crosshair over that spore plant in the background a couple times. Yeah, I know. I've got too many targets to aim at here. somewhere too. It's like deeper in the cavern. Oh look, I think there's somebody there. I think we found somebody, finally. It's Keeley. Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you. Yes, Angela Williams asked me to find you. She's such a dear. Not like that pompous little Peden she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. Okay, sure. Good. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done. Okay. Maybe it would be a good idea to follow her, eh? Well, especially if you have trouble navigating this place. Well, she seems to know where she's going, so, uh, yeah, we'll just, uh... Wow, she goes a lot faster than I do, though. I wonder if it's because you have your weapon drawn or something. I wonder if that's a thing in this game. Um... Yeah, maybe it does make a little bit of difference. Hmm, what's this? Did you do these repairs? Not bad, <laughs> not bad at all. Saves me time, I guess. See you upstairs. Okay. Okay, second level. <clears throat> okay, now which way? I guess in here, somewhere. In some direction, some way, somewhere. No, oh, here we go. Okay. Hey, what are we supposed to do? Here. Ready to begin? Sure, how can I help? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. Of I course. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Huh. Uh, okay, where are these vents that I'm looking for? I set the gas to pump into the fifth level since that's where the concentration of spores was highest. I'd start looking there. Typically, these vaults use circular vents in their air circulation systems. Look for a wall with two of them almost side by side. There's one just around the corner outside this lab if you need an example. Okay. How exactly should I ignite the gas? In the area where the gas is active, any kind of fire or explosion should do the trick. Hell, even lasers would do the job. If you don't have anything like that, I've got some grenades in my bag in the corner that you can use. Okay. Blast? <laughs> yes. There'll be an explosion when the gas is exploding, <laughs> but I'm sure you'll be fine. Now leave me to my work. 
I'm sure. Okay, sure. Good. Return to me when it's done. Well, you do have that laser pistol. Yeah, well, she also said she had some grenades in a bag. Where's the bag? In the corner. In the corner. A corner, at least. In a corner? In a corner. Some corner. Some corner somewhere? Some corner somewhere. Oh, there we go. Right here. Oh, a ball cap with glasses and six frag grenades. Okay. This sounds like a really bad idea, but... I guess we need to find our way back to the elevator now. Yeah. Okay, we gotta go to the fifth level again and find two vents. I seem to remember um, seeing the two vents, actually. Oh, you know what I wish I had right now? What? Long fuse dynamite. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a good thing to have right about now? Ah, well. I guess you'll have to deal with the fact that you've got uh, nothing but frag grenades. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, uh, can't go that way because that's blocked. Remember, F5 is your friend. Can't go this way because that's blocked. So uh, we need to go this way. Oh, there they are. See, I, I seem to remember seeing something like that. Right? Okay. So, since this is no doubt a horrible idea, we need to figure out what our tactics are going to be here, because probably this whole place is going to light up as soon as I do that, right? Okay. I think I got an idea. So, we're gonna maybe F5. Do, we're gonna maybe do a save here. Right? And then I guess we gotta equip some grenades. And then uh okay. Let's try this. Um, oh, I didn't get the door closed quick enough, right? See? Long fuse dynamite. <laughs> okay, we'll try this again. I gotta be a little bit quicker at it. Do I still got the grenade? Yeah. Whoop. Okay, there. Okay, we'll stand part way in the doorway. How about that? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Damn it, Eddie, now you're in the way. God damn it. Okay. You guys need to get the hell out of the way, okay? I don't know how I can make you get out of the way, but uh, you need to get out of the way. Okay. Let's try this again now. Uh, come nope. on! Oh. Not quite. That door was hardly even open too, right? Like, yeah, it just wow. came in underneath. Like, you gotta be just about perfect on this by the looks of it. Okay, where are we now? Um, okay, well, we'll try it again. <laughs> there! Oh, no. I guess that's not a safe area. Maybe it's not a safe area. I don't know what else to do then, really. Unless you can get some kind of timer type, oh, ex type um, explosive. Is it possible? Well, I could try maybe running this way. Yeah, but shut the other door too. Uh, shut this door? Yeah, maybe yeah, this, shut okay. this door. Well, I thought shutting that one door would do the job, right? But obviously not. Okay, well. Uh. 
I can't get the damn door shut fast enough. Right? Huh. Okay. Well, you know what? <sighs> Shooting this, the, the, the gas thing with a laser was a terrible idea. Yeah, probably. I think that probably pretty much the only chance we get have here is if we had some kind of uh, delayed fuse dynamite or something that would give me a little more time to escape. You know what I mean? <laughs> because I can't see being able to, uh, you know, like get behind a door, get the door closed quickly enough to... Uh, Okay, you guys need to get in here. Yo, know, it looks like uh, the, it's the kind of thing where you'd have to uh, almost get off this floor. Yeah, but I don't know how you could possibly do that fast enough because the only place you could go would be the elevator. And that's a long ways away, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I think that the fire comes down the corridor fast enough that uh, I'm probably not going to outrun it. Is which there means, which anything... means, well, I don't know. I mean, my, I thought maybe if I could get into this room and close the uh, the doors, you know what I mean? But maybe I just can't get the door closed fast enough, right? Like maybe I'm just too slow. Grenade. Yeah, that's right. Okay. See, I can't get the um, I can't get turned around and pointed at the door. I think we're gonna pause for a minute, and I'm going to look this up on my laptop and cheat. Ha! To see if there's a way that we can figure out how to do this, because I don't know what to do here at this point. All right. Okay, and we're back. Yes, and we looked it up, and it suggested that we try hiding in this little room where we downloaded the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand right here in front of this closed door panel. I'm going to lob this grenade into the hallway, and then I'm going to just turn as fast as I can and try and close the door. We'll see if that works. Hey, there we go. There okay. you go. Well, you know what? That was a pretty nasty trappy kind of thing that had a very specific um, solution to it. Like, honestly, I don't see how anybody playing this game for the first time would be able to figure that out without getting killed several times. <laughs> oh, well. But anyway, okay. At so, least it was an easier to close door. Well, the thing is, though, I was already, like, I wasn't trying to wildly run through a doorway and then turn around and locate this panel. I basically was in a position where I could do this and then this. Yeah, right? well, may maybe that was part of the problem, too. Maybe you just couldn't get the door closed in time. Yeah, except when we looked it up, it very specifically mentioned uh, this little data room here, right? Yep. So I don't know that it would have been sufficient you need to use a stim pack or something by the looks of it there, you. Thought I gave you some stim packs. Okay, feeling better now? Okay. <clears throat> now I guess we need to, f what, what do we need to do now? Um... Uh, return to Keeley and let her know the spores have been purged. Okay, so we need to find the elevator again. Yeah, I don't see, like, the other possibility it mentioned was running down the elevator, running down to the elevator and just going in the elevator. But you'd probably need a delayed but, explosive for but that. But you'd need, you'd need some kind of delayed explosive for that, I'm pretty sure. Because, uh, you know, like, even just a grenade when you throw it, just isn't going to give you enough time to run that far. Well, you had the right idea, at least. Yeah. Hey. Ah, good. You survived. Well, after the fourth I attempt, yeah. You <laughs> Luckily, you uh, I keep coming back to life problem. after being killed. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. What needs to I be done? I to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Okay. Good riddance, those files have caused enough trouble. Indeed. This should only take a minute. Just a few more moments, and... That's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently, and copied to an external source. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? 
Yeah, actually I copied the files. <laughs> yes, that sounds like something he'd do. Well, there's nothing for it then. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. Okay, I agree, actually. I, from what I've seen, I think this is a bad thing. We don't want this getting loose out into the world. Glad you're thinking clearly. I was afraid to blink there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? Oh, I've man. I've unlocked the door, so you're free to run along now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward Nakari, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. Okay, I've gained karma. I should may really maybe equip some other weapon too so I don't accidentally deploy a grenade when I don't want to. Uh, okay, well, back to the elevator. So we uh, made it to... Level 13 before we died for the first time and it wasn't even an enemy that killed us. It was one of those ridiculous, um, unescapable... Uh, trap type of things, right? <clears throat> well, I mean, I'd say you're still doing good so far anyways. Yeah. Actually, uh, oddly enough, uh, I did a, like, an, an absolutely terrible shitty job of exploring this place. Really? Well, you've <laughs> yeah, been, my... you, you've been in here before? Yeah, I've been in here before. Well, I gotta admit that, uh, it's not exactly a, uh, a place with the most direct um, path to follow, you know? Yo, I think I just found the data and then went and headed straight back. Oh. Well, <laughs> well you, you, oh, you didn't you didn't even try to find the missing person? I, I, I couldn't even find the cave. Oh. I was, like, terrible at exploring, but I'm like, oh, hey, data, that's, that's something. Yeah. Oh, well, so you actually, uh, you know, like, were the... Uh, beginning of the end of the world then. Hey? Yep, yep. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, well I think we did well. What are we looking at for time here? We must be well over our usual hour by now. We're a couple minutes past an hour and a half. Okay, well maybe we ought to uh, shut this down for now until the next episode and we'll go back to Camp McCarran in the next episode and uh I think that's what we were supposed to do, right? Go back yep. to Cat Mc yeah. Tell Dr. Williams that Keeley is safe. What's that? Somebody shooting. Somebody shooting is someone else. Okay. Well, anyway, I think we'll just save it here and we'll uh, call it an episode until next time. I'm Wreck Me 5. And I am Sandman99. Have a good one. <laughs>